the southwest United States could be set for its worst drought in 1,000 years. Numerous states have experienced severe water shortages, with 64 million people affected. Researchers say things could get worse. The arid conditions in the southwest of the United States and the Great Plains have been caused by higher temperatures, while groundwater supplies are shrinking. Studies by scientists using computer models show that the U.S. could be in for its worst droughts since the 12th and 13th centuries. Jason Smerdun, a co-author of the paper, which was published in the journal Science Advances stated, the 21st century projections make the mega droughts seem like quaint walks through the Garden of Eden. Ben Cook, from NASA's Goddard Institute for Space Studies, also helped to write the paper, added that Americans may have to get used to droughts as a way of life. He went on to state, these mega droughts during the 1100s and 1200s persisted for 20 to 50 years at a time, and they were droughts that no one in the history of the United States has ever experienced. Cook went on, stating, the droughts that people do know about, like the 1930s Dust Bowl or the 1950s drought, or even the ongoing drought in California and the Southwest today, these are all naturally occurring droughts that are expected to last only a few years or perhaps a decade. Imagine instead the current California drought going on for another 20 years. To aid their research, the scientists sued data, which they retrieved from tree rings. They were able to determine how much precipitation had fallen and how much moisture was in the ground as the rings were wider during wetter years. It has long been accepted by scientists that the Southwest and the Great Plains will become arid during the second half of the 21st century as a consequence of climate change. However, this process is being accelerated due to the increasing levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Precipitation levels can be misleading, the authors of the report said. Rainfall levels could remain the same as non-drought years, but an increase in temperature means more water is evaporated. California saw record amounts of rainfall in December 2014, though this has not been enough to fill up water supplies across the state. Crucially, snowfall amounts have been low, which has made it difficult to replenish reservoirs and underground aquifers. NASA says satellite images show the Sierra Nevada range snowpack is half the amount of past estimates. The problem is only likely to get worse in the southwest due to increasing demands for water, which will put an increased strain on low underground water supplies. Since the turn of the millennium, parts of Arizona, California, Nevada, New Mexico, Oklahoma, and Texas have all experienced drought-like conditions for 11 of those years. According to NASA, as many as 64 million people have been affected by lack of water 